Good morning. Today I'm going to do a green and purple Aurora inspired look. I'm putting the color correcting primer followed by the eye primer. Now I'm going to use black and white eye pencils. The white is going on my upper lid and the black on my lower lid and on my waterline. Then I'm going to smudge it out. Now I'm going in with a liquid liner to create the wings. When you have hooded eyes, you want to pull your wings out further to the side to make sure that it makes your eye look longer and bigger. For the eyeshadow today, I'm using Terra Moon's Magnetosphere and the, um, the Euphoria palette by Perfusion. I'm also going to be using the Wonderlust palette by Perfusion. I'm using the purple color and the Euphoria palette first on my lower lids. And then I'm going to go in for this other purple color on the outside of my lids to give it more of a cut crease sort of shape. And then I'm going to do the green over that to complete the cut crease. I really like this magnetosphere color. It's so pretty. I'm bringing that down underneath my eye as well. I added more of the purple color in the corners of my eye. Now I'm touching up the liquid eyeliner a little bit. And adding a line of white over top of it and then I'm going to put a little bit more of that purple color on it just to make it really pop. Now I'm using the black silvery color to fill in my eyebrows. Foundation and contouring. I'm using CoverGirl Aqua Smooth Foundation and the brown color in the Wonderlust palette for the contouring. I'm using a blush palette by ELF, the lighter color on top, darker color on the bottom, and then blending it with my hands. I'm using shimmer powder followed by the Casper highlighter by Perfusion. Now I'm using the same black eye pencil and white eye pencil to fill in my lips. And then I'm going to put the purple color and the green color over top of that. Now it's time for some setting spray followed by mascara. For our final touch, I'm adding these cute little stamps and a few dots. And here is the completed look.